Hello everybody, welcome back to From the Ash by the way. We've popped out this afternoon to try the Starbucks Christmas drinks. I was hoping, because I'm a massive eggnog latte fan, I live literally for the, the day when they announce that the eggnog latte is out every year. But I'm sat in the drive-thru looking at the menu here, can't see eggnog latte on it. But surely, Joe, surely they have it. It's one of their staples, isn't it? But it's not there. It says toffee nut latte, caramel... What is that caramel? I can't see what it says. Caramel what latte? Waffle latte. Oh, no, latte. And fudge brownie hot chocolate. Uh, you're having a fudge brownie hot chocolate, I know. Yeah. I really want the eggnog, surely. Surely they do an eggnog latte. We're heading to the rugby tonight. We've never been to the rugby in Gloucester before, but we're going tonight to see a game for the first time. But until then, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have a hot drink here, because it's Christmas, you know. We were talking about this a minute ago. I think after last year's, craziness you know it wasn't a great year everyone celebrated Christmas a little bit earlier I think everyone's just on board with it this year celebrating it a bit early so I'm, I'm gonna dive in I'm gonna get myself a Christmas drink oh is there more drinks on this menu here I think there might be oh praise the Lord eggnog latte is on there could I grab a uh, grande eggnog latte grande eggnog latte yeah and a grande fudge brownie hot chocolate and a grande fudge brownie hot chocolate. Oh, and the cookies and cream cheesecake cupcake. And everything you said. No chocolate cookies or anything today? She said she wants a cookies and cream cheesecake, cu cheesecake muffin. cupcake. Muffin. Muffin, muffin, muffin. Yeah, muffin. yeah. yeah no that's... Problem. All right, thank you very much. There it is. There's the Christmas menu this year. Toffee nut latte, caramel waffle latte, fudge brownie hot chocolate, gingerbread latte, and eggnog latte is there. Anyway, thank you very much for being here today. Always appreciate when people watch my videos. And this is the first kind of semi-festive video that I've done. So, you know, you can expect some good Christmas content coming your way. And there might even be a video from overseas. Who knows? Who knows? We'll find out. That's a hint. There probably will be. In fact, there will be a video from overseas for the first time since 2019 on this channel. First time with this camera as well. So I'm excited to go somewhere exciting, crack the camera out, get the festive vibes going on. Me and Joe are off for a few days in, I'll just tell you, we're going to Berlin in Germany. Christmas market, blue vine in a mug shaped like a shoe. We're gonna have some Brautwurst. We're gonna have uh, all, the, all the Christmassy stuff, lots of gingerbread-y type things. You know, I love a Christmas market. I've always said to Joe, Christmas markets, that's my, that's my vibe completely at Christmas. I've done Munich, Berlin, and Dortmund. I've done Munich twice, but I, lo I love it. So we're going to Berlin because Berlin's got the markets. It's got a lot, there's a lot of history in Berlin as well, of course. So we're gonna do all of that. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited, as are you, aren't you, Joe? It's gonna be great. So we're really looking forward to that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe because you don't want to miss that video. Thank you very much. Oh, that was close, wasn't it, that? There you go. Thank you, cheers. You Definitely almost knocked the drink over. Right, let's go and park up and try these. I still can't taste stuff, guys, because I, obviously you've seen my video, I had COVID. And it's a few days on now. I'm allowed out and everything, but I can't taste stuff properly. I'm doing this video on the wrong day, Joe. Mm. <laughs> doing a taste test of Starbucks Christmas menu and I can't even taste. I'd say my taste buds are at, I don't know, 10% of their working capabilities. Right, this is eggnog latte here. We have got the uh, Christmas cups are out. Look at that, eggnog latte. Oh, I'm getting a bit of the taste coming through there, Joe. Some things I can taste more than others. For some reason, apples can really taste apple. Uh, can't taste stuff like bread and pasta. There's nothing to it. I can't taste anything. But fruit, I'm good with. Um, this has got a lot of spices in, hasn't it? Like, um, mm. like cinnamon and that kind of thing in this, I think. So that's probably what I'm getting. But yeah, it's nice. Always have. Uh, when I can taste properly, I'll probably grab another eggnog latte because that is that's my Christmas go-to. That. So that's that one. Tell you what, you have a sip of that because then you can give your noise. This is what Joe thinks of it, but she's off camera. No, oh, quite... yeah, that's nice. You like it? Mm. Joe's a fan. I wouldn't want to drink a whole one though. Would but... you not? Oh, I love it. No. No. So that's that's. Would you give a half ten? Mm, five. five. Oh, that's quite low, Joe. That. Uh, this is the fudge brownie hot chocolate here, which we've got also on the Christmas menu. I'm gonna have to come back another time as well because I need to taste these properly, but also 
There are three more drinks on the menu, so we're going to try them all this Christmas. Why not? Or I can actually taste that because it's incredibly sweet. Mm. It's good though, I think you'll enjoy that. Have a mm. taste of that. You saved me a bit of that muffin, it's almost all gone. Really nice hot chocolate, better than their normal one. Mm -hmm. But not as good as Greg's, because Greg's do Cadbury's. You are a Greg's fan though, aren't you? You do mm. love a bit of Greg's. Joe's enjoying the hot chocolate. I'm enjoying what I can taste of the eggnog latte. Anyway, we've got to hit the road. Joe's got to be in, I've got to say it right, I got told off last time. Is it Malvern? Mm. Yeah, all right. Last time I went there, I called it Malvern. Mm. And everyone from Malvern went mental. Rightfully so, because it's a bit like when we saw that film and they called Gloucester mm. Glau Gloucester. Mm -hmm. It wasn't American saying it. In fact, it was Kirsten Tunst, wasn't it? She's like, you from Gloucester? <laughs> it's like, no, it's Gloucester, actually. He even says that in the film, doesn't he? He goes, no, it's Gloucester. So I get it. I get it, people of Malvern. I got it wrong and I apologise for that, but I was surprised at the, the level of anger there was towards me for that, but not going to get that one wrong again now because I know better. Anyway, we've got to go there because Joe's got a violin lesson there, so let's go. I've got my book. I'm the chauffeur today. So, uh, go to Malvern. And here I am in the middle of nowhere in Malvern. I have no idea what the name of this little village is, but it's beautiful and listen how quiet it is by the way just listen to this it's completely silent i love it do you know what this is one thing i do miss actually because obviously now we live in the city center in gloucester and uh, so you can always hear something going on you know there's always cars going by or our neighbors of course we live in flats so there's people coming in and out of the building and you know it's there's always noise you know there's always something going on but you live somewhere like this there's just nothing, it's just silence and I love it. And that's one thing I really did like about living in Devon. I really enjoy the fact that we are near places like this, Malvern, we're near the Cotswolds, obviously we're on the edge of the Cotswolds, so there is countryside nearby. So if I ever do want a little dose of, you know, peace and quiet, it's not too far away. I have no idea what the name of this village is, but it's beautiful. I will find out the name, in fact. Let me just have a look, quick look. I will pop you down on the other end of the bench. Stay there, do not fall, I'm still here. Let's have a look, so, where are we? Uh, let's have a look. Google Maps says we're in Cradley. So we're in the village of Cradley and uh, Joe's gone in to do a violin lesson. And yeah, it's just so peaceful. I thought I'd come and see it on this bench. It's, uh, it's getting dark, it's the, the day is, Look at that, I mean, just look at that building behind me. You know what I mean? We're off to see Gloucester Rugby tonight. Looking forward to it. I think when you live in an area, you need to, you know, the big things to do in that area, you ought to go and do them while you live there. And Gloucester is known for its rugby. So we're gonna go tonight and experience it. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy this peace and quiet just a little bit longer. There's a thing of apples outside. Not sure what that's all about. Anybody shed some light on why there's a thing of apples outside the church? I wonder if I can go in, shall I try and go in? Oh, I can go in. Inside the church. Wow. Oh, lights come on for me. Look at that, I'm in. To think they built all this years and years ago before they had any of the machinery or technology or any of that. They built these places all those years ago to come and worship and they're still here and they're still our best buildings in the country, I think, are churches and the cathedrals. Incredible. And although I don't go to a church like this, I do go to church. As you guys know, I'm a Christian and I have been since I was young. Um, but I don't go to a church like this. Mine's slightly more modern. But when I come into places like this, I just feel so, like, you feel God's presence here almost. And, like, not almost, you do feel his presence here. You know, to think this place has been used for worship for hundreds of years. You know, there's something about it. There is something about it. And this is just in a village in the middle of, you know, the Malvern Hills. So wherever you are, you've got a church like this near you. So if you've never been in one in a while, why not? Why not just come and check it out? 
you never know what might happen. And there's more apples inside. I don't know what the apples thing is about, but it seems like there's baskets of apples everywhere in this particular village. There we go, guys, enjoyed that. Spent a little bit longer in there. I turned the camera off, had a little bit of time of prayer, you know, it was good, it was nice and peaceful. But I've just realized the time. We need to get back to Gloucester because we've got to go and see the rugby. It's a real change of mood from the peace and quiet of the church to the hustle and bustle of King's home on a match day. Let's go. That's the vegan one. Yeah. We need to remember. There we go, guys. We're in. We're in the shed, at King's Holm. Can't believe we've lived in Gloucester for so long. I've lived here five years. Joe's lived here six years. Never come to watch a game of rugby here, so this is the first. But it's pretty cool, you know. There's so many people here. It's a proper like. It's a big rugby stadium. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. I thought it was going to be a little smaller, but it's big. There's a lot. Of, you can get a lot of fans in here, and there are a lot of fans here today. It's great. But it feels like you know we thought living in Gloucester this long. We don't want to leave Gloucester one day and think we never went to a game. So that's why we're here today. It's Gloucester versus Bath. So it's a local derby, Southwest Derby. And to uh, commemorate that, we've got ourselves a uh, Southwest pasty. There we go. Got myself a nice Cornish pasty. Well, I actually went for a cheese and onion pasty today. I am, I'm a big fan of a cheese and onion pasty. So I've got that. What a view we've got of uh, some rugby. Well, we're not actually going to be sat right here. We're just sitting down at the moment on these steps. <laughs> we keep almost getting hit by rugby balls. We've not, it's not kicked off yet, so I'm just going to enjoy. I mean, the texture is nice and it's nice and hot. I can't really say a lot about the flavour because I'm recovering from COVID and I haven't got my my uh, taste back yet. But it's warm, so it's doing the job today. <laughs> They shall not go old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. go guys that is my rugby experience done I uh, never went to a rugby game before that was the first I've got to say I'm not a massive rugby fan I went along really for the sort of cultural experience if you like and it was a good game to go to we did absolutely batter bath in the end so it was a nice one to be at but in future I will be sticking to football <laughs> more, I've, got, I've got to say hold my hands up definitely more of a football fan than a rugby fan I'm sure that will make a lot of my Gloucester friends devastated and there'll be a gasp at that statement but I can't help it I'm a football man through and through the heart wants what the heart wants anyway today I am somewhere a little different if you can see behind me that's the big house I'm in London today for the day got a few things to do but I've got a little bit of spare time now everything that I needed to do while I was here is now done so I thought what I would do seeing as we're making the videos a bit more Christmassy now I thought I'd have a wander around London and have a look at the Christmas lights because there's always good Christmas lights in London uh, in like the main shopping areas gotta say as well while I'm here this is Green Park and I've got to say I am absolutely loving the orange hues everywhere at the moment feels like autumn's been and gone far too quickly as you can see it's just beautiful here if you're looking to come to London London is particularly beautiful in autumn so if you're looking to come here for a day trip or whatever highly recommend autumn because it's not that cold 
there's less tourists so it's less busy you should be able to get in everywhere you need to go and everything is a beautiful golden orange color i mean look at it this is what i'm talking about orange leaves underfoot and orange leaves above you on the trees absolutely beautiful on the mall today This guys, there's a lovely little bar area here where you can sit and have some old wine. Nice view of Trafalgar Square and then some... Well, this place does something called a Yorkshire pudding wrap. Don't know what that is, but I want one. So, no Christmas tree in Trafalgar Square. I think they normally have one, but it's not here yet. But they do have this Christmas market, which has certainly got me in the mood for my trip to Berlin in just under a month. So guys, I'm back from London, it is the next day, and that is the end of this video. It's been a bit of a random one. I kind of wanted to show you what I got up to post having COVID. You know, it's been nice, I've been able to get out and do some different things. We've done the Christmas drinks, or some of them anyway. I will be back at Starbucks pretty soon to get the rest of the Christmas drinks and give those a try. But we've done Starbucks, we've done uh, Malvern, we did the rugby, and a little bit of a wander around a Christmassy slash autumn London as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel as well for future content because we've got some good videos coming over Christmas, particularly our trip to Berlin, which is now booked. We're going to be going to Berlin just before Christmas for a little Christmas market getaway. So do join us for that one as well, or join me for that one as well. And I hope to see you soon for another video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>